Hello, hello, welcome to my website. I'm hoping you found this through my website. Um, as you know, my name is Benjamin Orimolui, and I'm a web developer. And I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of an app I developed. Usually on my portfolio page, I usually just display a few pictures. But I feel like a video walkthrough is going to be the best way to showcase this website. So what this web application actually does is it could be used to manage an hotel. And without any further ado, I'll just take you through it because that's the best way to show you how this works. So I'll log in now. And I don't mind that you see the login username as long as you don't see the password. So when you log in, it gives you this first page, like an overview section where it shows you pretty much a brief a brief description of the status of the hotel. And as you can see now from here, the hotel has 30 rooms in total, of which eight of them are occupied and leaving 22 rooms available. And this hotel in question here, which is a virtual hotel actually, has three types of rooms. The regular room, the double bedrooms, and the king-size bedrooms. And you can see available regular rooms is seven, available double rooms is seven, and available king-size bedrooms is eight. And you can see there are eight guests presently occupying the hotel, four of which are male and unequal, four of which are females. And there are zero people checking out today, and five people with unspec unspecified checkout dates. And you understand this more as I go through each of these tabs. So first is the guest tab, and this guest tab just contains the guest list, which shows the list of all the names of the of the guests in the hotel, arranged alphabetically with their rooms, and this button just takes just checks them out, and then you can add new guests. So for an example, let's say there's a new guest called um, John Doe. And of course it's male with a password number, blah, blah, blah. And a phone number, blah, blah, blah. And let's say his address is New York. New York. And this list only displays the list of available rooms so let's check john doe into king size room 3b let's say his checkout date is 2016 december 25 yes check it out on christmas day and then you add the new guest and this notifies you that it's done. Of course, this can be made to look better, but for now, you just display done. And if you go back to the guest list, you see that John Doe has been checked in into a king size room 3B. And you could click on his name to see the full details. John Doe, mail, phone number, blah, international passports and his password number, his address, his room number, his check-in date, which is the date of which this form was filled, and the specified check-out date. And this archived guest is just a guest list of guests that have been checked out. And just to show you an example, if you go back to the guest list, and I choose Jane Foley here, and I check her out are you sure you want to check out okay and 
Jim Foley hasn't checked out and moved into archive guests. And if you go to archive guests now, you see Jane Foley has been checked out. So that's that with the guest. Going to the rooms now, you just see the regular rooms, you see the occupants' names, the double bedrooms, you see the occupants' names, the king size rooms, you see the occupants' name, and of course John Doe, which I showed you as an example. And from here to you could click on John Doe and it will take you to his details from the guest. So I guess that's that with the rooms too. And here's a to-do list. Obviously, I created these ones while I was creating the web app. So the dates are kind of outdated. But as you can see, there's a pagination here. This is, of course, the first page of the to-do list. And you can go to the second page. And the to-do list are arranged according to the um the should i say most recent here anyway the next item coming up so let's say this get laundry in room 3a has been done you just click on this and it goes away from the list telling you it has been done 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 and of course if you enter a new action here choose the year the month the day the hour, minutes, and whether it's a.m. or p.m. and add to list. It will be displayed here based on the time. And the next checkouts just shows you upcoming checkouts like this daily early would be checked in on August 13, 2016 and with a specified checkout date of that same day. And of course, there are a few guests who didn't give a checkout yet and they are listed in the unspecified checkouts. So if you click on the unspecified checkouts, it gives you a list of guests without a specified checkout date. And finally, the administration. section here I logged in as a user without an administration privilege so this user BJ Fiki won't actually be able to click or log in into the or use the administration tool so I'm going to log out as BJ Fiki here and log in as an admin then I'll show you the administration tab so I'll log out now and log in as an admin. So now that I've logged in as an admin, the other, um, all the other attributes are pretty much the same for an admin and a user that is not an admin, except that an admin can a user with the admin privilege can click on the administration tab and go into the administration section of this app and as you can see here the other user I logged in as before is a receptionist without the role of an administrator and if you remember I logged in with the username BJ Fiki and with a hidden password of course and so the administrator just gets to add new users here like say you want to add a new user Jamie with the name of James Foster and his username is Jamie and his password is blah 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 and then you can select the role usually you probably go with the role of receptionist or an, ad or an administrator and if you click receptionist here you click add user and you see that James Foster has been added with the username of Jamie 
and of course this is James Foster. His username is Jamie with the role receptionist and then you can delete a user. So I will here delete this. Are you sure you want to delete James Foster? Okay. And James Foster is deleted. If you go back to the overview page, so just for an example, take a look at the number of guests eight here and the occupied rooms eight. So if I add a new guest with the add new guest on if I add a new guest here with the add new guest say Fiki then a blah phone number blah 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 everything is just dummy add new guest in the hotel status you see that the occupied rooms increases to nine the number of guests increases to nine number of male guests increases to six female three and if there's a guest checking out today it will indicate that here so and um, yeah finally the search guest let's say um just want to search for an added guest from the guest list here there's a guest called Fiki Ben which I just added so let's say I search for I don't even have to type in the full name I could just type in FIK click on enter or the search button and it shows you result from current guest Fiki Ben and result from past guests none so if I click on the name here takes you to the guest detail as usual so that's a brief overview a brief walkthrough of this web app so thank you for watching